Good morning guys. It's about five in the morning right now. I got the boat all hooked up. It's ready to go. One step closer to Bimini Bahamas. Here we are at Matheson Hammocks Marina. After we got the boat all set up, it's around six o'clock in the morning, maybe 6.15. We were one of the first people at the marina just to try to get a head start on the day. Uh, try to get to Bimini as fast as possible and just to enjoy the full day over there You don't want to leave at 2 or 3 o'clock in the afternoon and get there at 6 o'clock 7 o'clock Whatever time you end up getting there and then you got to do customs and you got to do a bunch of stuff So we try to get there as early as possible So we have the rest of the day to enjoy over there in Bimini our navigation plan was Obviously launch the boats at Matheson and Hammocks and then from Matheson we go straight to Stiltsville And then from Stiltsville it'll lead us to some open waters and this is the part where we do hit some open waters. The seas don't look too bad. Obviously in video, it never does it justice, but these are a good two footers. So I have no problem with that. If we got two footers the whole way, it would have been an excellent ride. In the beginning, when we left Stiltsville, it was like a constant two foot chop, an occasional three footer, um, which was no problem. Um, the 32 Fountain did an excellent job, in my opinion. As we started hitting the Gulf Stream, and we started getting some deeper seas. As you can see here, the waves start getting a little bit bigger. Like I said, it never does justice in the videos, um, but here we drop down the speed from around 40 miles an hour to about 28 to 30. As we get closer to Bimini, the winds start picking up. The winds go from 13 knots, and then they pick up to around 16 to 17 knots. Here we're about halfway through the trip. Uh, we slowed down to let my uncle catch up he was fully loaded he had pretty much all the stuff we needed for Bimini so his boat was very heavy as you see here we start getting on top of the wave start getting the boat on plane again and we just start navigating slowly but surely this navigation is all about patience you don't really want to beat up the boats too too bad because it gets to a point where everyone on board starts getting uncomfortable the last thing i wanted was to have everybody seasick um, it's just not the right way to start a trip we just try to navigate at a comfortable speed not too fast not too slow it all depends on the size of the boat you have and the size of the waves you're hitting um, here we got the 36 Sonic, which is my uncle's boat, which has recently been sold, by the way. Um, and then this is footage of us in the 32 Fountain. Uh, the boat really navigates wonderful in offshore conditions. These are not um, two-footers. These are a little bit more. These are like constant three-footers. It does not look look it in the video, but it is with 17 knots per hour, you don't get two footers offshore and in 2000 feet of water. That's just not how it is. I know you guys are gonna laugh at us in the comments and say, yeah, yeah, it was nothing. We have officially made it to Bimini, Bahamas. We're waiting for our boat buddy back there. I don't know if you can see him. We got these beautiful houses over there. We've arrived. There we have the 36 Sonic. And here we have the 32 Fountain. So here we're in Bimini Bay. Here's the resort, that's Hilton. Where we're at now is Joe's Conk Shack, I believe it's what it's called. But in my opinion, it's the best conk salad in Bimini. 
he does a great job they also make these conch fritters uh, for those of you who don't know it's kind of like a batter with conch in it and they put some other ingredients then they put it to fry and it's so cheap i believe it's three dollars for six of them This is us crossing the bridge to get to our private island in Bimini Bay, which is only exclusive to houses. The house that we ended up renting, as you guys saw in the video, is absolutely gorgeous. It's honestly a dream. Uh, when you go there, it's like you're living a dream, and it's beautiful, the vacation, everything about it, the water. You guys will see the excursions that we do. We didn't do too many of them. When we went to go swimming with the sharks, you guys will see how awesome that was. What you guys see us doing now is leaving the Bimini channel, which will take us out to open water. You can see how shallow it really gets there. Like I told you guys earlier in the video, we did a couple excursions. Both of them were done on this day. The first stop was the Sapona sunken ship, which I believe sunk in 1940 or somewhere around that time, somewhere in the 1940s. That wasn't too long of a stop. We just checked it out because I'd been to Bimini multiple times prior to this trip and I had never gone. So I really wanted to see it. And then after that, what I was really looking forward to was swimming with the sharks. Yeah, these really aren't, you know, like great whites or bull sharks. These are nurse sharks. But even though they're nurse sharks, at least me personally, I still have my little doubts about them because at the end of the day, they're wild animals. And you never know, they could snap at any time. Thankfully, that wasn't the case this time. I really got to enjoy swimming with them. This is the beach in Bimini Bay. We're not allowed to beach the boat, but we get very close to it. Close to like three feet of water here. It's beautiful, these homes on the water on the beach. It's something that the video doesn't do justice. It never will. You have to be here to see this. That pretty much wraps it up for the video, guys. If you guys like to see more videos like this, more vlogs, Drop a thumbs up, drop a comment below. Let me know what you thought of this video. If you guys enjoyed it, then we might do more videos like this. And this last clip that you see, this is us on the way back to Miami. We got some rougher seas. Uh, the wind picked up a lot on us, so we just took it slow. Um, when we got closer to Miami, we picked up the speeds. But like I said, guys, patience is key. And until next time, you could catch me offshore.